Hey, what's up everyone? I like to use my Chromebook to remotely log into my Windows desktop computer to access applications I can't use on my Chromebook. But I had one big issue with this. My desktop has two monitors connected to it, and by default, Chrome OS does not work well with an application being used on two monitors. While I do have the ability to connect two monitors to my Chromebook, I was not able to expand applications in Chrome OS to both monitors. It will only let me use an application's window on only one monitor. Doing more research on this led me to a Chrome flag that will treat two displays as one, allowing me to use an application on both monitors. This feature is called Unified Desktop Mode. This is very important for me when I remotely log into my desktop. Let me show you how to do this. I got this working on an HP Chromebook 15 with Chrome OS 88 installed. So to enable this, bring up a Chrome window. In the URL bar, type chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. Now in the search box, type unified. You will see the results show up. Enable it. Then click restart at the bottom. Once Chrome OS restarts, you can start using this feature. To demonstrate this, I'll show you my Chromebook connected to an external monitor. My use case for a unified desktop is to log into my desktop computer and comfortably use both its monitors. So I'll bring up my web browser with me already logged into Chrome Remote Desktop. I have two computers ready to be logged in. I'll choose my desktop. Enter my credentials. And now I'm logged into my desktop. Here you can see two of my desktop monitors squished together into one browser window. Using this in a single screen on my Chromebook, I would normally have to set the option to only show one monitor at a time and then scroll between each other. Or I could set it to not scroll and manually select the monitor I want to view. I hate both these methods. So with a flag we enabled earlier, if we maximize the web browser, we can get a different monitor on each of the displays on my Chromebook. I currently have the Chrome menu showing, but to fix this, all I have to do is set the Chrome remote desktop to full screen. Now this is much better. I now have comfortable access to both of my Windows desktop monitors. Now let me bring up a browser window. You can see I can drag the browser window to both of my Chromebooks display, but my real purpose for doing this is to be able to use DaVinci Resolve on two monitors attached to my Chromebook. I'll bring up DaVinci Resolve. Right now, it's only set to work with one monitor. And this method is fine if I want to do research on one monitor while working on a video on the other. But when I need more DaVinci Resolve real estate, I just turn on dual screen mode. And here I have Resolve working on both of my Chromebooks displays. I can further optimize this to get a bigger timeline view and a bigger preview window for the clips. And these are my exact settings I use on my desktop working on my Chromebook. There is a major issue when you have Chrome OS set to this mode. The problem you will have is that maximizing an application will span it across both monitors. When using two monitors, you will have awkward moments where a prompt will appear right in the middle of both monitors, like you see here when Chrome Remote Desktop is asking me for my pin. I'm not too worried about this because I only enable unified desktop mode when I'm remoting into my desktop. But if you prefer unified desktops, there are ways to maximize to a specific monitor. My preferred method of maximizing to a specific monitor is to use hotkeys, specifically the window docking hotkeys. On your keyboard, if you hit Alt and left square bracket, the window will maximize itself to the left monitor. If you hit Alt and right square bracket, the window will maximize itself on the right monitor. This gives you a super quick way to keep windows in a specific monitor instead of having them expand to both monitors. Another way of maximizing to a specific monitor is to drag a window to the end of a monitor. For example, if I drag this window to the end of my left monitor, it will maximize to the left monitor. If I drag the window to the end of the right monitor, it will maximize to the right monitor. This is my second preferred method. The final way to maximize to a specific monitor is by using your mouse and clicking and holding the application's maximize button. So I'll move my mouse to the application's maximize button. I'll click and hold it. I then see arrows appear on each side of the button. 
While still holding the mouse button, move the mouse to the left arrow and let go. The application will maximize to the left monitor. Now, click and hold the maximize button again and move the mouse to the right arrow. The application will maximize to the right monitor. I prefer using the hotkey method, but it's always good to have options. Keep in mind that you won't be able to use these maximize options to dock two windows side by side in one monitor. If you no longer want to use unified desktop mode, then you can easily disable it. You do not have to disable the flag. Instead, just go to the Chromebook's display settings and toggle the allow windows to span displays option. The switch will happen instantly without the need to restart the Chromebook. So you can enable and disable the feature easily as the need arises. Since I'm working with multiple monitors, I want to demonstrate an issue I'm having with three monitors when I enable unified desktop mode. It looks like Chrome OS hard codes the order of the monitors when unified desktop is enabled. So if I drag this window to the left monitor, I can't because Chrome OS won't let me set that monitor as such. The order of the monitors is this. The Chromebook's display is set as the left monitor. I'll drag this window to the right and you can see that the lapel monitor is the middle monitor. I keep dragging to the right and the ACES monitor is set as the rightmost monitor. As far as I know, there is no way to change this order with the unified desktop enabled. I can plug the monitors into different ports, but the Chromebook's display will always be the leftmost monitor. Let me disable unified desktop to show you how the monitors are arranged. Now I can drag the windows to the exact order I set the monitors to. Unified desktop mode ignores this order. The only way to fix this is to physically rearrange the monitors in the order that Chrome OS set them to. I'll do that now. And now after physically rearranging the monitors, they are in the correct order that Chrome OS expects them to be. No issues moving windows back and forth now. This is no problem with portable monitors, but this can get really annoying if you have monitors in a more permanent position. I hope Google can fix this and sync the order of the monitors to what's set when unified desktop mode is disabled. Anyway, that's how I use two monitors with Chrome Remote Desktop in Chrome OS. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.